What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today we're gonna to be unboxing the brand new iPhone 14 Pro in every color offered by Apple. So we have the deep purple, the space black, the silver, and the gold. And if you wanna see an unboxing of all of the regular iPhone 14s and all the colors, I will leave that video linked down in the description below. But let's take a look at these boxes. So you can see right here that the box this year is not black. So last year and in previous years, the iPhone 14 Pro box was in black, whereas the regular iPhone models had a white box but now it's hard to discern them unless you look at the front graphic. However, the 14 Pros are the same price as the 13 Pros this year with an additional option. So we have 999 for 128, 1099 for 256, 1299 for 512 and 1499 for one terabyte. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So we're gonna start with the silver model here. So we do have the little peel tabs as usual, making it very easy to unbox these phones. Go ahead and take the top off right here and we can see that silver bright and center. And this actually looks more like white than it did last year. I don't know, I don't have a silver one with me right now, but this looks really good. It looks like an ice white silver and these bezels you know the edges right here really shine they look very like chrome looking so instantly i can notice a difference in the camera bump it definitely looks a little bit bigger than on the 13 pro so in the box one thing is going to be different this year so we don't have a sim card so in here you will see this little thing right here this little piece of paper that says you no longer need a physical sim card activate your eSIM during iphone setup and along with that we get an additional booklet and our one lone apple sticker so no sim card removal tool because there is no sim card slot on the us models and then also inside we do have the USB C to lightning cable as usual so let's put this in there set it off to the side and let's take off the front boom there we go so we cannot really see the dynamic island unless you look at it really in the right light you cannot tell that it's even there when the phone is off but let's just go ahead and boot this up because i do want to see how that looks and then we'll get to unboxing the rest of these iphone 14 pros ah so there we go so now you can see the dynamic island right there up top on the 14 pro so that is the silver model we're going to set that to the side now let's go ahead and move on to the gold model so we're going to take off these peel tabs right here let's go ahead and check out what this gold looks like so gold looks very similar to what it did last year so i don't really see a big difference just on first you know impressions of this it looks about the same as previous golds actually in the light it looks a little bit different when you put it in the right light now i will have another video coming showing all of these colors in great detail and like sunlight at night different like lighting just so you guys can get a better idea of the colors of these phones if you're interested in that that will be linked in the description below but right now i can tell you it looks a little bit different when you put it in direct like sunlight or direct light so looks good though i do like the gold let's go ahead and take the front off there you go you can see what the corners look like and let's go ahead and move on to the space black which is one i'm actually pretty excited about so we're going to save the best for last in my opinion the deep purple so let's go ahead and do the space black here i really hope this looks good and different than the midnight and graphite in the past so here we go this is space black and yes it definitely does look different than those two which i am definitely happy to see we can see a lot of black around the cameras as well so this is a very very dark phone which i like especially if you put it with a black case this phone is going to look awesome yeah i'm really feeling this space black i think the space black looks so sick it's like completely blacked out and i just again think with like a carbon fiber case or something like that this will look really good so it's going to take that front off just to complete the full-on black look love this space black and here's a graphite iphone 13 pro and you can see it compared to the space black you can see in direct light it is a little bit darker but in the shadows when it's darker out you can see there's a big difference in the shade of black so space black definitely darker you can also see a comparison in the camera section up here so it's only it's not only darker on the iphone 14 pro but also those camera lenses are a good bit bigger and then finally what i believe to be my personal favorite color this year the deep purple and i I actually got this in the pro max so this is going to be the iphone 14 pro max in deep purple so let's go ahead and take these peel tabs off the box of course substantially bigger than the regular pros because it is a 6.7 inch display versus a 6.1 and oh man that just screams at you right away 
that purple looks so good. Now it's probably because I'm in direct light, like I have lights right around me so I can really see that purple popping. But this is a color that when you have it, you know, when you put some shadows over it and you know, have, you have it at night, it's gonna look very dark. It's gonna look more like a black, maybe not quite like space black, but in certain lighting conditions, this purple will definitely look black. So you can see around the camera, that is like a little bit of a brighter shade of purple, which I think looks really good. And man, yeah, this purple is definitely my favorite. I could tell you right off the bat right now, the purple is my favorite. I do like it just slightly over the space black. Space black is definitely my second favorite though. The space black, when you put it in direct light, it looks more graphite. But when you have it not in direct light, it looks more dark than like a graphite or a midnight, which I like. But the purple man, oh man, this just really pops. I think I like this better just for comparison. Here is the Sierra Blue on the 13 Pro Max. So you can kind of see a difference in the color right here. And just for another comparison, here is the purple iPhone 11 compared to the deep purple iPhone 14 Pro Max. So you can see quite a big difference in the shade of purple in all lighting. And of course we have to take the front off of the 14 Pro Max as well. Looks awesome. You can't really tell it's purple from the front, you know, if you're looking at the, the front and you can kind of see the bezels, but they kind of just look the same as every other phone. Besides the black, the space black, you could tell it's like black around the bezels, but the other phones kind of look the same because you could only see kind of a sliver of the edges. And I do just want to boot up the 14 Pro Max here. I do just want to run through the setup process. I want to see how easy it is to transfer a SIM card. And I also want to check for software updates and things like that. So let's go ahead and boot up the 14 Pro Max here. And we have the matching purple iPhone 14 background. I love it. Let's go ahead and select on English, United States. We're going to set up manually. So to be honest, when I first started like using the setup screen, I didn't really notice the dynamic island. Like it didn't really jump out to me. It didn't look much different than a notch. Like if you don't look directly at it, it's going to look the same as a notch. Like if you're looking at the bottom of the screen, your peripheral vision is going to see that as like a notch. So don't expect like a major change to like the way that looks up top. However, you should expect a major change to how you interact with the dynamic island. As you can see right there, we have a little green button inside the dynamic island, which indicates that our phone is using the camera. And you can see if you tap on that, I wonder if we could tap on it from here. No, we cannot. So we'll set up face ID later. You can see different things already popping up there in that damn dynamic island. So let's go ahead. That's going to be hard to say, by the way, <laughs> dynamic island. It's hard to say a bunch of times fast. So here's where you can restore if you would like to. I'm not going to do that for now. All right. So here's the screen where you can set up cellular. So it says you could transfer a phone number from a nearby iPhone or scan a QR code provided by your carrier. So I want if I unlock my phone right here if it's going to detect it so we're gonna see transfer from nearby phone and yeah so that looks like the pop-up that you're going to get when you first get your iPhone 14 transfer phone number to another phone and you can kind of go from there but I'm not gonna do that right now I will have a separate video showing you how to set this up but let's go ahead and set up later in settings before we get to that home screen here's another new splash screen for emergency SOS it mentions crash detection and also emergency SOS via satellite but it does say coming in fall 2022 so it must not be available right away so here we are on the home screen of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It looks awesome. If we press on that dynamic island, nothing happens. Let's go ahead and set a timer just so I can show you guys how that works real quick. So we're gonna set a timer and you can see up top, it kind of just expands and we can see that timer right there. And we can tap and hold on it and make it bigger. That looks awesome. So I wonder if I go into something else, like some music, let's play some music. All right, so we're playing music now in the music application. And oh, you can see right there, it goes straight up to the dynamic island. And if we haptic press on that, so let's haptic press, you can see it pops out a little bit bigger right there. And I just turned on a focus mode on accident. You can see the focus mode showed up in the dynamic island before moving back over here to the left. That was really cool. So if you tap on it, it opens the app. If you haptic press, it opens up like a bigger little menu here. Very cool. Now, one thing I would recommend doing right once you get your iPhone 14 is go into your settings, general software updates, and make sure you update to iOS 16.0.1. And this is a must. That way you don't have any issues with iMessage and FaceTime. So you can see they may not complete activation. So if you want to message anybody or FaceTime anybody, you need to update to 16.0.1 right once you get your iPhone 14 or 14 Pro. And I will talk more about everything new in the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro in future videos. So stay tuned for that. This is just really an unboxing showing you guys all of the brand new colors colors here with the iPhone 14 Pro. Really the only two new ones are the space black and the deep purple. I do think silver looks a little bit different and gold does in certain lighting, but you guys can make up your mind which ones you think look best and look different from previous years. Oh, and I didn't even realize the always on display was just working. So you can see here, if you stop touching the lock screen, you will see the always on display 
you can see how everything kind of just goes in and it dims down. So always on display is really cool. I will talk more about that in a future video, but you can turn that off if you would like in settings, but I think it looks really cool and it's probably not going to drain a ton of battery either. So may as well keep that on. So there you have it guys. That is the iPhone 14 pro and one iPhone 14 pro max in all four colors offered by Apple. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, let me know down in the comment below, which is your favorite color? Were you underwhelmed by the new color this year in deep purple? Do you like the new space black or are you just a classic guy or girl and you like the good old silver and gold? Let me know your thoughts down there. And if you want to see more iPhone 14 and 14 pro videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I have a ton more coming very soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.